Hello everyone, it's Serenity. I hope you're doing well. So today, <laughs> I just want to talk about a few things. Um, we all know that Watchtower is basically, globally, getting benefits as a religion. Now, I have a very big problem with that, and so should the governments of this world who are allowing Jehovah's Witnesses to come to their countries and set up kingdom halls, branches, all these different facilities in the name of a religion. Why so? Because I pay taxes. I'm honest, I pay taxes on basically every dollar I earn. So why should Watchtower actually get grants and be tax exempt and essentially be rewarded for being an extremist group. And I will even put it out there, and hopefully someone is listening who has two cents about them, a terrorist group. Now, I know people are like, oh, that's too far, that's too far. But guess what? Russia had it right. They seen exactly the signs of Jehovah's Witnesses and what they were doing in Russia and to the citizens. It is no different than what a terrorist would do, um, especially the leaders that make the followers who really think that they are doing something for some greater cause, believe that anything they do, even if it's against the governments, even if they lose their life, it's for a greater purpose. Does that sound familiar? Now, I'm going to compare, let's just say other religions, let's say the Catholics, Baptists, whatever. I can, I'm not for any religion, okay, none. <laughs> so don't get it twisted. But there are some very big differences between Jehovah's Witnesses and many of these other religions and I say religions not cults because for me as a taxpayer I feel better about my money <laughs> going for grants and things of that nature when I know at least they're helping out the community or other citizens truly helping out not this false sense of we're going to give you a false hope in this religious thing that you're going to live forever and you are God's chosen people because that's all bullshit. So those are false hopes, okay? I'm talking about like the very area I live in here, right? There is a hospital that is Catholic based. They help anyone. You do not have to be Catholic in order to benefit from their services. They also have schools that help educate the kids. Now, in this community, they employ many people. So, it's a benefit to the community. They have youth programs. They have food pantries. They have all types of things to better the community and the citizens of the country and again I'll remind you I am not for any religion but at the same time if you're going to be getting tax benefits and grants and all this other stuff at least you need to be a helpful organization in society which that I see as I said these churches the hospitals all of that are employing various people from various religions and that is helping the economy it's helping the town the neighborhood whatever they are in now jehovah's witnesses don't do this they have facilities where they are only for members <laughs> who are serving in that religion. It is not for outsiders. 
And this is even communities. I went into this a long time ago where Watchtower is buying like acres and acres of land and building domestic residences on it and only selling it to ones in their faith. Same thing with like care facilities, nursing homes, all that. It is just for their members. Now, <laughs> these members aren't getting paid and whatnot. And well, y you basically know everything is volunteer, volunteer. So not only are they saving money, but they're getting money from the government, which us citizens, tax paying citizens are basically supporting. Now, why do I compare it to an extremist group and say that Russia has it right? I already mentioned some things. They are not a beneficial part that is contributing to the country or the countries that they currently are in. That's number one. Number two, they train their members just like terrorist leaders do to be so dedicated to the cause that they will risk their lives in order to basically support that cause. So their life becomes irrelevant. That is no longer important. That's not, as I said, we, we know of cases where Terrorists, the, the members who are supporting this cause, have no regard for their own life. And I'm going to say it again. The true source of life values life immensely. And in another video, I will tell you why. Because it's deeper than just, oh, it's life. But it will also open your eyes to a lot of other things in this world. But they also get, you could say, hostages, and they do this through their doctrines. The doctrines where if you want to leave, you change your mind. Most people cannot gracefully exit the religion. They will be held hostage because their family is in it, their friends are in it. So, they feel like they can't do anything. They're hostage unless basically these leaders and these ones who are supporting this leadership get what they want. So they're willing to do almost anything in order to do that. I already talked about <laughs> blood sacrifices as well. These organizations like Jehovah's Witnesses find legal loopholes in order to carry out their sacrifices throughout time legally. Whether it's the blood doctrine, making ones die for military reasons, this type of thing. I'm sure many of you can think of different aspects. Even the suicides that come about by the shunning, by basically holding people emotionally hostage to stay in the religion or be quiet and not say what's really going on behind closed doors. Because, of course, they don't want the government to know. But governments around the world are literally funding this extremist group. When they really dig into it and see what's going on, they will come to the same conclusion as Russia did. You are allowing ones perpetrating as a religion to slowly, like a disease, take over your countries. That is what is going on. They are buying land. They are not even teaching <laughs> their members to vote, to support the government, to support the economy, all of these things, because they teach that it's all coming to an end anyway. So why bother? Be faithful to us. You say cults, there's cults, 
and then there's extremists and there's terrorists. What happens when these ones buy enough property where they have a big of enough influence to maneuver how things work out? This is just something to think about. It's not, you know, that I'm trying to be mean about the witnesses, but the thing about just having the gift of life is you have the right to free will. As long as it doesn't hurt anyone else. You're exercising that free will with love as your guiding law and principle. These ones are not. And because they're allowed to prosper and grow and actually get benefits for what they do, they are causing so much damage to communities, to citizens, to various countries. And this is exactly what Russia has realized, that they are an extremist group, they are a danger to society, and that is exactly why they banned them and took everything because they see the danger before all of these other countries did. So that's what I wanted to talk about. Um, there's many other things I can compare. It would be nice if I can compare it actually on like a whiteboard or something. So you see the similarities. Many don't want to see it because it's shocking to even think that you were once a part of that. But there's a reason that you were a part of it. So that you get out and once you get out, you do something about what you went through. Your experience. Because if you didn't experience it, you couldn't talk about it. If I didn't see these properties, what went on at Bethel, Brooklyn, these parties, people being served, the different levels of positions and whatnot. How funds were being used. And not just in the U.S., but other countries. All of this I experienced. <laughs> and all of these experiences led me to where I am now. I needed to go through them. I needed to see it. For it all to make sense to me at divine timing. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> That's it. Um, I love you all. I'm sending you my peace. And... <laughs> No fear, be brave. It, it, we're at a time where you have to understand that you hold more power than you think you do. All right, take care everyone, bye.